Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I am Dr. Muhammad Mahatab Alam and now I am going to discuss about the various types of hypothesis. Broadly, hypothesis are three types or you can say uh, hypothesis can be divided into three categories. The first one is called research hypothesis. What is research hypothesis? It is a, a statement of what the researcher believes will be the outcome of an experiment or a study. Another type of hypothesis is called a statistical hypothesis, a more formal structure derived from the scientific method and composed of two parts. A statistical hypothesis has two separate parts. One is called null hypothesis and uh, another one is called alternate hypothesis. What is null hypothesis? It is the assumed value of the parameter if there is no effect and impact. It is always written in negative sentence like this. There is no effect and impact. We will conclude that this could be true unless there is a, a small chance of getting a sample statistics like mean proportion and variance as extremely or more extreme than more from the data like small p-values. We will come to the p-value later on this. What is alternate hypothesis? A statement of whether the true population parameter is higher, lower or not equal to that hypothesized in the null hypothesis. The third type of hypothesis is substantive hypothesis. What is substantive hypothesis? It is a statistically significant difference does not imply or mean a material substantive differences. If the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternate hypothesis is accepted, then one can say that the statistically significant result has been obtained. With significant results, you reject the null hypothesis, then it is called substantive hypothesis. But the more common types are research hypothesis, more common used are research hypothesis and statistical hypothesis. So just focus on research and statistical hypothesis. Here, I will explain only a statistical hypothesis on this series of lectures in a later part.